Shalom and welcome to the Satellite Bible Atlas video number two. This video introduces the basic geography and regions of the land of Israel. We noted in the previous video that the land of Israel is relatively small. It is about the same size as the state of New Jersey, the fifth smallest state in the United States. On map 1-1 in the Satellite Bible Atlas, note that the heartland of Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, is only 150 miles long. From Jaffa on the Mediterranean coast to the Jordan River is only 45 miles. However, in this small land, there is great geographical variety. One region varies significantly from another, even though the regions are only a few miles apart. Map 12.3, the last map in the Satellite Bible Atlas, shows the various regions of the land outlined schematically. Each shape or outline shows a different region. Look how even the area of Judea in the south breaks down into seven very distinct regions. The coastal plain, the Shvela or foothills, the hill country, the Judean wilderness, the Dead Sea, the Negev or dry basin, and the wilderness highlands. This regional diversity has its effect on both biblical and modern history. The land's history has tended to be characterized by different ethnic groups who maintain independent political rule in different geographical regions. Peace and unity between all groups is seldom, if ever, realized. Here we are taught that real peace is obtained only when God rules men's hearts. As an historical example of the geographical and ethnic diversity in the land, note map 4-2, which shows the area that Israel was and was not able to conquer and settle in the days of Joshua and then afterwards in the time of the Judges. Israel was able to settle in large sections of Transjordan here, and all the way up into Bashan, and also in the hill country, and parts of the hill country in Galilee. But Israel was not able to settle in the coastal plain, or in the Jezreel Valley, or north of the Sea of Galilee. Let's see some of the regional and geographical variety in this small land. Well, here we are in the land of Israel, and uh, in fact, contrary to common belief, most of it is not a desert. We're in the hill country of Judah, which you can see is very forested, and we're near the biblical site of Kiryat Yarim. Which means, village of the forest. The variety in Israel includes everything from lush green and waterfalls near Mount Hermon, the well-watered districts around the Sea of Galilee, agriculturally rich plains like the Jezreel Valley, the rugged hill country of Judah near Jerusalem. This hilltop is the ancient town of Kiryat Yarim, just mentioned by the gal in the video. The Ark of the Covenant stayed here for 20 years before Samuel led a national repentance. Later, David brought the ark from here into Jerusalem. Here's the modern road leading into Jerusalem. And yes, deserts, like the rocky terrain of the Judean wilderness between Jerusalem and Jericho. On map 115, let's mark out the four major longitudinal zones, or zones that basically run north-south, that make up the land of the Bible. These zones subdivide into smaller regions, as we will see later, but a basic understanding of the regions of the land of the Bible starts with these four zones. First is the coastal plain, a strip of agriculturally productive land some 8 to 12 miles wide that runs parallel to the Mediterranean sea coast. This region tended to have an international aspect to it, since big empires, traveling between Mesopotamia and Egypt, wanted it. The Philistines settled here. Ancient Israel was seldom able to control it. Next is the hill country. Jerusalem, number 15 on this map, sits on the watershed of the hill country at some 2,400 to 2,800 feet above sea level. The hill country is rough terrain of deep valleys and high ridges. It extends north and includes Mount Carmel, which juts out into the Mediterranean Sea, and Galilee. Note here a break in the hill country which separates the hill country of Judah and Ephraim 
from Galilee in the north. The break is a wide plain, the triangular or arrowhead-shaped Jezreel Valley. The third north-south zone is the Rift Valley. This is part of the longest rift on the surface of the earth, the great Syro-African Rift, that runs from Turkey to Kenya. Here, the Rift Valley is a ten-mile-wide plain or trench, which separates the hill country here in the west from the high Transjordan Plateau in the east. Much of the Rift Valley in Israel is below sea level. The surface of the Sea of Galilee is 700 feet below sea level. The Jordan River descends another 650 feet to the lowest spot on the earth, the Dead Sea. The surface of the Dead Sea is 1,350 feet below sea level. The unique depth of the Rift Valley, especially around the Dead Sea, is one reason there is so much geographical variety in this area. The Dead Sea is only 15 miles from Jerusalem, but is a totally different geographical zone. The fourth major longitudinal zone is the Transjordan Plateau. It can reach over 3,000 feet in elevation and includes the areas around ancient Moab, a plateau, Gilead, and Bashan, all the way up to Mount Hermon. There they are, the four major longitudinal zones of the land of the Bible coastal plain, the hill country, the Rift Valley, and the Transjordan Plateau. Another important feature of the geography of the land of the Bible is rainfall. Believe it or not, Jerusalem receives as much rainfall as London, between 22 to 24 inches each year. The difference is that Israel's rainfall comes in about five months, between November and March with the wettest months being in January and February. So, when it rains, it can pour. Rainfall in Israel varies greatly from region to region. This is especially because the Rift Valley is in the rain shadow of the hill country. Note on this cross-section diagram how most of the rain falls on the western side of the hill country watershed. Jerusalem sits here on the watershed, but east of Jerusalem there is a severe drop in elevation into the Rift Valley. The clouds dissipate and less and less rain falls the further one descends toward the Dead Sea. As mentioned, Jerusalem can get 24 inches of rain a year, but only 15 miles away, Jericho in the Rift Valley, near the Dead Sea, gets only 4 inches of rain per year. This variance in rainfall from region to region contributes to great geographical variety in the land. Let's see a winter rainfall in the hill country of Judah near Jerusalem. Israel has no major river that grants a continuous supply of water Rather, as Deuteronomy 11.11 11 says, it is a land dependent on God's yearly provision that drinks rain from heaven. To review, the heartland of the land of Israel is only 150 by 45 miles. Yet this small land contains great geographical variety. The geographical variety has put its stamp on the land's history. We learned about the four major longitudinal or north-south running zones of the land of the Bible. The coastal plain, the hill country, the Rift Valley, and the Transjordan Plateau. Finally, we noted that Jerusalem receives as much rainfall as London, some 24 inches a year. However, rain falls only in the winter months, so the land of the Bible experiences long, dry summers. Without the winter rains, life quickly ceases. The writers of scripture make it clear that man is dependent upon God to send life-giving rain. Well, we're, we're here in Israel and there's a lot of variety in the land. It's, in fact, most of it's not a desert. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>